Kate Bilo is in our CBS Philadelphia next weather sphere with the forecast is it, it. I have to admit I put the, the heater on in the car this morning when I, I was leaving this morning, Kate. Is this the first time you've put the it heater has because oh you know I'm just I can usually brave most things, but my and I had my jacket in the back seat, so I was just wearing my shirt. OK, so you needed a little I extra, needed a little extra, a something. little yeah. extra airflow. Yeah, yeah you got, got to start that car early tomorrow morning. Jim, I think is going to be even even colder. Oh boy. So you may want you may want the heated seats turned on tomorrow morning or the heat just kind of kind of blasting tomorrow, the coldest morning of fall, but then a big warming trend as we head into next week. I want to start you off with some beautiful shots of the sunrise around the city and suburbs right now. Ocean City looking beautiful this morning. Look at all this gorgeous fall color in Plymouth meeting. This is over the Delaware toward Camden and this shot. We've got to zoom in on this one in the Poconos. This is up at the lake at Big Boulder and it is stunning. You've got the a few more clouds there, but look at the pinks on the horizon. The purple clouds reflecting off the lake. Such a gorgeous looking shot this morning as the sun prepares to rise and it's a a chilly start. We're at 36 degrees in Millville right now, 39 in Trenton, 38 in Allentown, 46 here in Philadelphia, feeling very much like yesterday and today almost a carbon copy of yesterday. We're at 59 degrees for the daytime high, mostly sunny tonight, mostly clear and we're down to 40 for the overnight low, which is going to make it the coldest night of the season so far here in Philadelphia. And for that reason, we have a freeze warning that will go into effect late tonight and continue into Thursday morning. Now the freeze warning again, this is an agricultural product. We don't issue warnings telling people that it's going to be freezing when they step outside. This is more about the growing season. So once you get the first First freeze the first hard freeze. You don't get any more freeze warnings until the spring when you get the the first freeze after the growing season starts. But again, you can see the purple shading here. Berks County, Lehigh, Northampton, the Poconos temperatures will be close enough to the freezing mark to put any crops at risk for the end of the growing season tonight. Clouds and radar showing not much over the past three hours. You can see we've got this new developing low though off the coast of the Carolinas. Picture a big area of high pressure centered right across the Midwest and that will be there for the next couple of days. So as this low develops offshore, the good news for us, it's going to stay away. Now we could really use some of this rain. We're not going to get any. All we'll probably see maybe a few clouds here across Delaware and South Jersey into tomorrow morning. The low stays out to sea, but that is going to kind of enhance that breeze as the high builds in and the low lurks offshore. We'll have this chilly breeze from the north. Then Friday into the weekend, this coastal low, this closed low moves away and this big high centers itself right over us. So what happens with an area of high pressure when you're on the eastern side of it, that's the cold side. Winds go clockwise. So again, around a high, you've got that cold air on the eastern side of it. By the weekend, the highs right over us and then next week, the highs a little bit off to the to the east of us, which means a southwest flow. That's the warm side of the high. So temperatures will be warming progressively each day into the weekend and next week. Rain chances over the next six days. I show you this for a reason, even though it doesn't really tell you anything, except we don't have any rain in the forecast. And boy, do we need some. The last time we got a soaking rain, so to speak, an inch or more was August 8th. That was 69 days ago. We got 1.1 inches since then. We've had less than that in the months of September and October combined. In August, we had five inches of rain. September, only about three quarters of an inch. Despite all those gray, dreary, drizzly days we had, it didn't really amount to much. And then in the month of October so far, zero goose egg. And I'll tell you what, I looked ahead in the uh, extended forecast. It doesn't look like we really have a decent chance until maybe the end of the month toward Halloween. So that's something we're monitoring closely because we have a drought in progress. It's a moderate drought. Philadelphia, it's surrounding suburbs, a severe drought for portions of interior South Jersey. And that, of course, leads to the risk for greater fire danger as well. And look at this next seven days, no rain to speak of, and we gradually warm things up here. So 59 degrees today, tomorrow, the coldest morning of this stretch. Thursday, we're up to 62, and then the warm up continues. A beautiful weekend, and we're pushing 80 again early next week.